Uh, well, it looks like uh, gold has maintained it, it, it held its upward ascending wedge today uh, after dropping back uh, almost to break it. It didn't quite break it. And I wasn't aware of uh, the options expiry tomorrow um, on, on gold. So it uh, may be flat again tomorrow. It's very late in this wedge. Uh, usually uh, wedges are broken by now because the two pieces of the wedge are coming and they're going to cross pretty soon. And usually somewhere in here, about 90% through the wedge, um, the, whatever, the, the asset either breaks out above or breaks down below. Looks like gold is uh, showing a lot of strength um, right now. And so it's, you know, after expiration tomorrow, we're going to expect something to happen on Friday. Maybe a, a news event, uh, some kind of an economic news event to uh, change the price of gold. And uh, I'm not really looking at silver right now. I know if gold breaks out above this, then it'll put even more pressure on silver to rise too. So I'm watching gold right now, the GLD actually. Still in that upward wedge. And uh, next couple days we can see, if it, I'll let you know as soon as it breaks the pattern up or down. <coughs> if uh, you wanted to go short or, uh, you know, if it breaks out above this wedge and you don't have any yet, that's a definite buy signal. So Also, I wanted to mention a couple things that are going to my mind. And uh, talking to talking to people, giving me all their opinions and, and everything, and I keep asking myself what the truth is, and uh, you know why is my opinion is my opinion better than anybody else's? Is it more accurate? Is it more important? All that kind of stuff. And I realize that you know what's the bottom line? What the what is the? I mean, you can't trust anything on the news. Uh, you can't trust anything really that they can control. And it's really an interesting kind of a mind game. But uh, the way I figure it is that, um, you know, it's like the game of chess. When everybody knows how to play chess, you have to do something to fool your opponent or make him think you're doing something you're not um, in order to gain the upper hand. And that's pretty much what the government does to us or Wall Street or you can, I mean, you can pick them. The people with the money and the power, they got that way because they had to use leverage against someone else. That doesn't mean they did anything wrong. Um, you know, when, you, when you're an employer and you have employees, you're using their, their, their labor to make money uh, from their labor. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but the, the point is the government uses the leverage uh, to, uh, to keep us dumbed down, to keep us ignorant, and take advantage of us. And basically, uh, I think it just boils down to uh, the competition for energy. Uh, really, what it is is power, money, and power. It's just always a competition for that, and they won't out. They won't actually come out and say, "We're in competition with you all for money and power, for power ultimately, energy." Basically, all matter does is compete for energy. Uh, if you have a lack of energy, you're dead, and so it's always a constant struggle for energy. And uh, the energy in this case uh, is is money flow. So, uh, money gives you power, and power is energy. So. Basic, just uh, it, it, it's pretty much you know a struggle for power, and um, they use these, they, they manipulate these markets down. They keep us dumbed down. They try to fool us. They try to get the upper hand, and it's a constant struggle to. Well, if you know what they're doing and they're and they're getting the upper hand, then you can invest properly, like buying silver and gold. Uh, and pretty much, they have. There's no way else they can fool all of us uh, anymore, and more and more people are waking up to the fact that. Uh, they have to obey the math just like everybody else. And um, I, I was reading the comments on this one article I read, and people were coming out and saying, if you're stuck on a deserted island, you'd need food and water. Your silver would be worthless. Your gold would be worthless. And it made me realize that you can take any kind of a scenario and make money look bad. You can make gold look bad. You can make food and water look bad. I mean, you can you can create any kind of a truth out of anything that you want. So your 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 opinion, including mine, is all subject to your perspective. So you have to ask yourself, what is your perspective? Change your perspective and your at, your opinion changes. So you want to hold on to an opinion, any opinion, and your ego says, I have to be right. You have to take a look at your perspective. Uh, the perspective I use is math. I just use the bottom line math that no one can argue with. You can't argue that one plus one equals two. But the government, they do. They use the fuzzy math. They say, well, one what? We're talking about one week plus one day. That's not equal to anything. That's equal. That equals eight days. So one plus one equals eight. You know, they can create any kind of a mess you want. It's all a mind game. 
and you've got to boil it all down to the basics and say, look, I own something real, and there's n and there's no way that can be wrong. So that's what I do. I own silver; it's real. There's no way I can be wrong about owning silver, even if the price drops. I own something real, and uh, the government works on something that is not real. They they work on uh, they work on illusion. They're illusionists. So um, you know, I don't want to own the the illusionist or the illusion. I want to own the stage that they have to stand on. That's what I want to own. So buy your medals. And I'll talk to you, I'll keep you updated on this on this gold thing, see which way it breaks out.